Welcome and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys what's on my iPhone 15 Pro Max and let's get into it. Hello stranger, it's been a minute since we last kicked Starting off, I'm showing you guys what my case looks like. I got the case from Shein. I will list it in the description box. I know with like the new iPhone, since it's made of titanium, it's supposed to be stronger and harder to crack, but I'm a believer of put that case on it. I also have a glass screen protector on my phone as well. I have a camera lens protector, but not currently because I need to get new ones for this particular case. So this is what my lock screen looks like. It just has my vision board because I feel like if you create a vision board, you should be looking at it as often as you, you can. Before I even get to the first page, I have the screen that has a widget that says get your bread. Always thinking about the money, always thinking about elevating. If you're not getting your money, what are you doing? You're wasting your time. Elevate yourself. And then I have a picture of me and my friend and then just the weather app, calendar, and my phone percentage. So when you think about like your general utilities and everything that's useful for your iPhone, this is all on the first page. Let's go see what the camera quality looks like. So this is what the camera is looking like. This is the front camera, not the back. You know the deal, the back camera is usually better. And I can confirm that, but I think the front camera is still pretty good, so. Just taking some selfies for y'all. On the second page, I wanted to make this page catering to social media and like content creation so i have a widget that is just a picture from my vision board and it focuses on youtube and then like the camera that i wanted financial freedom stuff like that and then i have my youtube folder app where i have youtube and then youtube studio if you don't have youtube studio and you're a youtuber i strongly recommend you to get this because it's very helpful being able to like see your like your revenue analytics and I have the sub count so if you want to track like specific milestones you hit a thousand subscribers 2,000 this is just like a way for you to do that you just type your channel you track that and you're able to just keep it very clean and like aesthetically pleasing so that's why I have that. I also have Spotify and then like a folder for like social media as well. I've been tracking like my subscriber count. Today I updated it and I had reached 15, 1500 subscribers. So I have a widget that just, you know, shows that. And basically every week or like once every two weeks, I'll go in and I'll update it. And basically how I update it, type in the Widget Smith app and then I'm able to go down, select a new photo and just change it um, to what like my subscribers are now. And where I got that screenshot basically was me going here. Oh, look, now I have 1,524, so I will need to update it, but I'll just screenshot and crop out like that little section and that would be the picture. And then I have the Bible there as well because I feel like oftentimes when you're in the spotlight and you're doing social media like you tend to do things that don't normally emphasize like your morals and i just like the bible to be there to remind me of like who i am and i like to you know keep that as sort of the backbone and everything that i do especially like content creation because it's so easy to lose yourself i have a folder for finances so here I have like credit karma cash app experience all of that stuff and I've heard that credit karma is not that reliable so I've made it like a goal to fact check like what my credit score actually is like on Experian and then Capital One I have a credit card with them so they also do like a credit check so I just have these three to make sure like I'm keeping track of like my credit score and you know other stuff as well. Mizuma is my the credit union that I use. Robinhood is an investment app. I think it's very like beginner friendly in my opinion. And then AT&T, my phone service. Pinata is a very useful app if you're trying to track like your timely rent payments and you're trying to build your credit. So if you go on Pinata, you're able to basically connect the accounts that you've been using to pay your rent. And every time it's, it's on time, it's going to help your credit score. That's what I used, I think, in 2022, and it did help me. I no longer use it now, but it's very useful. And then Progressive, that's my car insurance, so all of that. 
And then I wanted to make this section kind of cute and just like very positive. So I have like a picture of me like smiling, you know, feeling very beautiful, red lipstick on point. And then I also have this widget that says it's a good day to have a good day. What I've learned is things are always going to be happening. Life is always going to be lifing. If you're finding, you know, little things that make you happy throughout the day, like that's so important. Hold on to that. I try to be very organized as you can see. So I have folders for like travel, which has like Uber, Google Maps. Apps. I have a folder for like health and fitness. I work out at Planet Fitness right now, so I have that in there. Eve is a period app for all my ladies. I think I've heard like some not so good things about like period apps, but I've never had an issue with Eve before, so that's why it's there. Core Circle, oh, if you work out and you sort of want like a community of you know people who also work out, they're tracking their progress, highly recommend Core Circle, it's great. It's think of it like a an Instagram for fitness. So if you go on Core Circle, you can create like your own profile. My name on there is Lucia Akbor. And then, you know, you're tracking like your fitness goals, you're posting like your workouts as well. So I'll have workouts for like back and cardio, you know, all of that stuff. And then you're just surrounded by a community that has the same goal. So it's just very, it's very encouraging to like go on there and know like I have, <laughs> And know I have like the same goals as other people, so I recommend that for all my fitness girlies, especially if like, ooh, damn, okay girl, you go, let me give her a fist bump. One of your like New Year's resolution is to get better with your fitness and to work out, highly, highly recommended. And then I have a folder for editing, and in this folder it has like Canva, that's what I use to create like my thumbnails and it pretty much has everything that i need i create like my vision boards on there all of that like this is one of the thumbnails i created on here come on don't play with canva i also have canva pro just to put that out there and then i have airbrush which is like a photo editing app very useful as well i have line breaker so you know how on instagram when you try to format specific things you're trying to say sometimes it doesn't post the way that you want it this helps with that I don't know if it's called Unum, but that's how I'm pronouncing it. So Unum is also a very useful app. I use it for Instagram and it's to see how your posts look like before you post them. So if you're curious about posting that one photo and you don't know if it's going to go with like the previous photo that you posted, Unum. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but that's what I use this for. So if you're like me and you don't really have people to take your photos for you, Lens Buddy is very useful because you can take your photos by yourself. I'm going to be recording a little, you know, practice point on here. So if you go on Lens Buddy, you're able to set the timer. You have your tripod, you set your phone, you can click on the speed of the timer. I usually just do like five or 10 seconds, depending on like, the background and you know how far I have to walk away from my tripod and then once you click that you click it it's gonna count down and it just starts taking pictures and also another thing is you can select how many photos that it takes so right now I have 25 photos that it's taking so it's just very useful and yeah I, rec I recommend lens buddy and then we have Fonto so Fonto is good for getting those creative fonts going you can get very unique fonts for like your thumbnails and stuff like that. You know, it helps to stand out. Everything on YouTube is about standing out. We, we're all doing the same videos, but what makes your video special? Think about things like fonts, titles, your energy. What are you bringing? How are you keeping your audience engaged? And then CapCut. CapCut is really good for editing like short videos. So think of like YouTube shorts, Instagram reels, TikToks. And then I have my shopping folder, Shein, Goat. I'm an Amazon girly, Best Buy. And then I have my entertainment folder. So Netflix, Hulu, Showtime. I have a games folder and I don't really use this as often because I don't play games on my phone as often, but let's say I'm at a dentist appointment and I'm waiting. If I'm not like watching TikToks, I'll go and I'll play like one of these games. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing what's on my iPhone 15 Pro Max. I hope you enjoyed seeing the layout and you enjoyed the little apps that I have on my phone and why I find them useful. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And as always, I will see you guys in the next upload. Bye, guys. Bye.